is the remix they look close hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is tamara fashion style and today in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to use and draft on a whiteboard now i have my whiteboard here which i'm going to show you how to draft on it right and i'm going to show you how to use the basic tools now i do a video on this already but you guys really like it so i said let me just do a fresh one for you guys so i have my marker here i have my ruler and i have my whiteboard which i'm going to show you how to draft a full length tap now i'm not going measurement to measurement because i already show you how to do this umpteen times so this is just i'm gonna just go through this random and just show you how to draft a full length tap right so in this video i'm gonna show you that so if this is the first time here hit that notification bell subscribe to my channel share my channel so that others can benefit from it as well so before further ado let's get into the tutorial how to draft on a whiteboard right now as i said this is my whiteboard here it is not glued to the wall so let me fix this so that it won't fall so on my whiteboard here i'm gonna get um a long ruler and i'm going to draft a line for you right i'm gonna draw a line this way and i'm gonna draw a line this way that is just guideline to center whatever I want to draw on this whiteboard this morning. So, before further ado, let's get started into the drafting of this line. Right? Now, I have my ruler here, so I'm going to draw a straight line across this whiteboard. From here, and I'm going to come line it up and draw a net up straight line across all right so there so this is just a guideline i am drawing here so i'm gonna draw a next guideline here to prevent it from the end of the people let's pretend this is your people so i'm gonna draft it from the end of the people just to leave a little space in case you want to add seam allowance and so on so i'm gonna go down and draft my line okay so this is just a guideline let's say you want to make this draft into a top let's say a full length top you want to do okay let's say you you, you already seen how to draw the half length let's see how we can draw this full length top all right now this line here act as our shoulder line so let's say shoulder Right? So this here would act as our shoulder line. Now, from your shoulder line, you're going to measure down your bust. How much ever is your bust, you measure it down and you rest it here. Right? So, let's say you want to measure down your bust. So you're going to get your ruler of this L-curve with me, which I'm going to use. I could use this L-curve to draft this line here. Right? This L-curve could work as this line. So let's say you want to measure down your bust measurement. Now, however, much ever is your bust measurement, you're going to use it, right? I'm not going back into um, measurement and all this thing because I already showed you how to do that. So I'm going to measure down my bust. I'm going to flip the ruler and I'm going to measure down my bust as well. Okay, I'm going to measure down my bust. So now I'm going to connect this line here. I'm going to connect this line here. So I have two lines. So this line here is going to act as my boss. Alright. Now I'm going to measure down my waist measurement. So from the top here I'm going to measure my waist measurement. Okay. Just measure. Measure. And I'm going to connect this line here. I'm going to connect this two line here. All right. So this is my waist. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure down from the waist. I'm going to measure down the length of the top, however I want it. Right. Which is your arm. 
the hip measurement I'm going to measure down how much ever it is. So I'm going to connect this line here. I'm going to connect this line here. And this will act as my hip. Okay. Now what I'm going to do. So since I have all these measurements right here. Now you need to get your bust measurement. So I'm going to just do this randomly. So let's say my shoulder. I measure it out. I'm going to use this shoulder. So you're going to measure out your shoulder measurement. Right. So my shoulder measurement from this end. I'm going to measure this out here. Okay. So now what I will do. I would measure down. Two inches here. Two inches. Now I'm going to measure down how much ever. How deep I want the top. So let's say I want to make a v-neck. But I don't want it to come right by my bust. I'm going to measure over the bus. Alright. Now what I'm going to do. I'm going to connect this line to this line here. So I'm going to connect this two line here. Alright. So this become my shoulder. So what I'm going to do now. I'm going to measure from my shoulder. Right. The amount to the bus. How much ever is the bus. I'm going to measure. There. Right. So this is my marking here. Then what I'm going to do. I'm going to measure out the waist. How much ever is the waist. Right. I'm going to measure out the waist. So this is my waist and I'm going to measure out the hip measurement as well. Okay, so I'm going to measure out the waist, the hip. So what I will do now, I will connect these, all these markings that I have here, I'm going to connect. So I will take this ruler and I will connect this like that. Okay, I will connect this right here. I will connect that. Then, if you don't have this um, a straight ruler, I'm going to take a straight ruler and I'm going to connect this. Now, because I have a curve, I'm going to use this ruler to connect my, um, my waist measurement. Or if you don't have this ruler, you can go ahead and use a straight ruler as well because not everybody have this ruler here all right connect that and then i'm going to come and i'm going to connect here right now if you don't have this you use the straight ruler so i'll come and i would connect the straight ruler so this is the full length top you see how the shape gone up right now what you need to do here so now is the neck is decide whatever neckline you want now you can do any neckline at this point, you can do any neck. If you want to do a square, you do a square. If you want to do a V, you do a V. Right? It's up to you. Right? So let's say you want to do like a square neckline. So what we're going to do, since this is our point that we have here, we're going to come in here. Right? We, this is our shoulder. So from our shoulder, we're going to come back in. Right? Come back in your shoulder width. You're going to come back in your shoulder width, right? Which is here. Now, from that point, you can decide whatever neckline you want. So, let's say I need a square neckline and I need it here, right? Or you need a V neckline, right? Let's do a V neckline. So, my V neckline is not right on my bust because the reason I don't want it on my bust is because if I put it on my bust, what will happen here? You will see right through my bust. I would have to wear a true top with that, which I don't like all these clothes. So I would do it like two inches above the bust, right? So you measure two inches up from the bust, and then you square from this line here, this marking here, to this line here. So you see, you have this opening here. So it is not exactly by the bust, right? If you want it a little deeper, all you have to do is just come down a little deeper and you carry it in a little. Alright? So let's say we do it a little deeper. So we're going to remove this line here. This line here. Okay? So you have it a little deeper. You have it a little deeper here. Okay? 
so this would be our top now what we need to do the amount we need to add the seam allowance here so let's say we add in two inches seam allowance to our um, hemline this is the hemline we add in two inches to the hemline so this is the full length top all right and we're gonna mark all this top here we're gonna mark that here we're gonna come and we're gonna copy it right here so we have our hemline and everything right here now we need to drop some seam allowance on this line now we don't need this line here anymore but we will use this to get the back of the top but we're gonna do the back of the top separate so this is the front of the top here right we don't need this line here anymore because this is the top we have here all right so we don't need these anymore we don't need all this here so we're gonna remove all this line here okay and we just left with our top as you guys can see now we're gonna add some seam allowance to this top right now you're gonna add half in seam allowance to your top i'm gonna just guide my seam allowance right you're gonna add seam allowance all around this top because we must get seam allowance around the top right you don't need to add to the hem because the hem already have seam allowance just spare me to get the seam allowance around this top here okay around here now we need to add seam allowance around here as well right and we need to add seam allowance around here as well okay around here as well so just this piece here we need to add seam allowance now if you cut in this top on a pole you don't need to add seam allowance here if you're cutting it two pieces then you need to add the seam allowance along this line so since that we don't have the seam allowance we need um to add the facing for this front so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna come in here about an inch or an inch and a half here and i'm gonna measure down this face in here i'll just measure in like five inches not even five inches, like three inches along this line here and i'm gonna create the facing for this top here so this would be my facing here seeing that it don't have seam allowance right so what you can do now now this is the top that we are doing here so what you can do now is get a piece of tracing paper and what I will do, I will trace this top over from the whiteboard. Alright? I will trace that top over from the whiteboard. Okay? So that's all for that. So I would get a piece of paper and I would lay this on top here. Okay? Lay this on top here. You can paste this paper together. Paste them together okay and you just lay them on top so what i can do i can draw all this right here i can draw this top out here i can draw it with the seam allowance and everything okay and what i would do i would stop at this line and draw this out here like that okay draw that out there now i'm gonna draw in my seam allowance as well so I'm going to draw in my facing. So this would be my facing. This here is the allowance, right? The allowance for the armhole, right? This is the stitching allowance here. Okay, so this is my top. So this is the top, right? The top. Now I'm going to get a next piece of paper. And then I'll put it together and I will show you. Okay. So I will take it from here. From here. And I will draw from this line here. Now I am just drawing out my top here. Right. So I'm going to draw it out. And then I'm going to paste this top together. And I will show you what it looks like. Okay. So this is the middle. This is the middle section. 
once in a while get the bottom section of this top so this will become my bottom section right here all right this is the bottom section right here so i'm gonna draw this out here this is the easiest way of me tracing my arm um, tracing my top I'm going to trace it out. Okay. This is the easiest way of me. This is the seam allowance here. Tracing my top. So this, I'm going to put this together and I'm going to show you what it look like. So this is the front of the top. So that is the front. Okay. So you have the front of the top. Seeing that we don't draft out the front of the top, let's go now and let's draft the back of this top. So this is the front of this top, right? So we have the front of the top here, okay? So we will rub this off and we will get the back from this top. So what I like to do, the back of the top, we're going to draw a line like this. Draw your line. gonna draw a line straight down the middle we're gonna do the same thing so we draft that line there all right now what we're gonna do we're gonna do the same thing for the back of the top all right so the back of the top we're gonna measure out okay we're going to measure from here and we're going to come back in for our um, shoulder, right? We're going to measure down our bus. Now I can get a guideline for the bus from right here, from this line here, right here. So I don't have to go back and measure. So I get the guideline for the bus. I get a guideline for the waist from this one right here, all right? So I'm going to hold this here. And get a guideline for the waist right here. So this is the guideline for the waist. We will get right here. I will get a guideline for the hip as well, right here. Okay. So this is the guideline for the hip. This is the guideline for the hem. So I'm getting it right here. Okay. So now for this, what we're going to do. So this is the, we're going to come back in here. All right. So this is where we're going to come and we're going to connect all those lines. All right. So what we need to do. First, we're going to draft a line here. We're going to lock up here. Locking up here like a rectangle. Lock up there. So let's say that is the box for our back of our top. So now, since we get all the guidelines from these here, you can copy it just as how I do it, right? And you're gonna get your measurement. You're going to bring in your measurement as I told you, right? You're going to bring in your measurement, okay? So, since we're getting it from here, so this here coming back right here, okay? So, what we need to do, we need to get the measurement. This is the, we're going to go down here. So, we come in here, coming in here, right? We're going to go down here, like a two, one and a half inches, right? One and a half inches, we come down, okay? So since we come down one and a half inches here, we're going to come here, okay? We're going to connect from here, right back to here. Okay, so now 
what we need to do is come down how much we want so the back we're gonna come down one inch for the back or if you want to do a v back you can do a v back as well most people do v back with the v front but i am not doing that today so i'm gonna get my ruler and i'm gonna connect right now i remember this is my shoulder coming down here so i need to come back in at a point where i want my neck to start from so i'm gonna get this ruler and i'm gonna connect my neck to wherever i want it to start from all right so there and then i'm gonna come and i'm gonna connect here i'm gonna connect this here connect okay i'm gonna connect that and then i'm gonna come and connect this right here i'm gonna connect this here and then i'm gonna come and connect this here so that would be the back of my top all right so now we need to add some seam allowance around this top so we're gonna add the seam allowance around this top so we need to remove some pine that we don't need so we don't need this we don't need this anymore we don't need that okay we don't need this anymore we don't need this line we don't need anything here all right so this is our back of our top we're gonna add some seam allowance as usual I just see my low ones. The hem I already have. We're gonna come to the top and we're gonna add our seam allowance as well. Now the back, if you're cutting it open, you need to add a seam allowance to the back as well. Alright? You need to add the seam allowance to the back. So this is our top. Okay? So this is back. So that's what they hold the full length top look like now i'm gonna paste this top together and i'm gonna show you what this top look like so this is the front of this top here all right you see it come right back and match it back so i'm just get a piece of tape and i'll just tape it on to the white board like this here right to just show you the matching up so i'll get the middle section so i have a pattern already here okay i'll get the middle section that's just to show you how easy it is for me when i ready to draft my pattern i do it on a white board and i copy it on paper rather than going through all that i get a more clearer view on the white wool to see what the top look like before I cut into my fabric. It's coming right here. Okay. So I'm going to put a piece of tape and I'm going to hold that down as well. Just to give you an idea. So this coming right here. So that coming there okay so that is my top and then we're gonna cut out the bottom of the top So this is the bottom of the top now. So I'm going to paste this right here and I'm going to show you how easy I get my method of my top. So 
this is what the top look like so i get a whole pot one from there let me just show piece it up and show you i get a whole pot one so i can use this pot one now to cut out anything i want okay remove this piece to fix it in place properly so let me put one more piece and I can take it down for you and show you what it look like so you see I get my whole top here so I can use this paper pattern now to design anything that I want I can make a tree color as you guys can see, I can bring it apart and I could put three colors on the top. Now, I'm going to cut this top on a fold. If you want, you cut it on a fold and you design your top. So, just showing you how easy it is to redraw your top like this. So, you see, I got my whole top right here. And the back, you're going to copy the back the same way as how you copy your front. So, this is my process of drafting on a whiteboard. So we're going to draft off the back as well. Alright. So we're going to do the same thing. Like what we did for the front. We're going to draft off the back. As well. that in place so we have the whole top right here all right i'm gonna get a longer piece and i'm gonna paste this properly i'm gonna do the same thing to the bottom this is removable tape so i can remove this so that's the back of the pattern right i'm gonna put the front on on that as well so you have the back, you have the front, and your front. So you can do this and cut this out. Alright? So that's the whole back and the front. Now we need to do a facing for this back and this front. Now you can do a whole facing if you want, or you can just do piece facing. Alright? So you get a whole back and a whole front for this back. Here. So this is what we get here. Now let's remove this and let's do a facing for it. For the top. So we're going to remove this front. We're going to remove the back. We're going to get paper. Alright. And we're going to do a facing for this top. Now for the top. The facing that I need. I'm going to do it in a blue to separate it. Alright. Let me see if I get a try marker for you. I'm gonna gotta do it in the black because the other one is a wet marker. This one is a dry erase marker. So I'm gonna from this point here, I'm gonna go like three inches in. From here, and I'm just gonna do a little facing for this top right here. Right there. So this, this gonna be my facing. Now for the back, 
right? If you want, you can do a whole facing like for this top, all right? So for the back, I'm going to just go in here. I'm going to just go here and do a facing for the back, all right? Just a little facing like for the back. This is the facing for the back. Just a little piece of facing. You just come and you come down and whichever you want the facing to be. So this from this area here is going to be my facing. Now the facing for the armhole, you can just come from here and you come out. Alright? So the facing for the armhole is going to be like from the end here. It's going to be like from here. This is going to be the facing for the armhole. So you just get a point and you draw the facing for the armhole. So that's going to be my facing for my armhole. From here, it's going to be my facing for my armhole. Alright? So I'll get something and I will copy that facing for the armhole. You can make an all in one facing, you just have to come down like that. Okay? So from here, it could be all in one facing like this. You can put this like this. Okay? So here will be my facing for the front. This is for the V neckline. Okay? This. This will be my arm whole facing here. This here, this, all this here is my arm whole facing. So this is arm. This is um, neck. And you cut in two pieces. You cut, if you cut it on a fold, you cut one. Or you cut in it, you cut one on fold. So this is the front. Okay, just right front. F means front. So for the back, I'm going to do the same thing for the back. Alright. So for the back, I'm doing the same thing for the back. Okay. So this from here is my back facing. This to that. Okay. Armhole is from here. This is my arm hole facing. This is meeting the arm hole. So this is back facing. Neck facing. And you cut that out. Okay? So we don't need that. So we're going to cut this section out. I will show you what I mean. Okay. So all the parts, we have all the parts for this stuff. So since that we have all the parts of these stuff, we're gonna go and we're gonna cut this out. So you have your back facing, you have your front facing, you have the back of the top. Let's go and cut this out. Alright? Let us go and let's cut out this stuff now. So we're gonna cut this stuff out. Alright, so reaching at the table, let's cut this out. So as I said, we're going to cut out this stuff. So you're meeting by the table. So this is part one of part two. So in part one, this is where we draft the top. Now look out for part two, which will be coming right after this part one video. And we will cut out the top and sew it in part two. So just remember, part one is drafting the top. In part two, which will be coming right after this video, we will cut out the top and we will sew it together. Then at the end, 
I'm going to give you a little modeling of the top of what it look for. So, I'll see you in part two. So, you enjoy. You have a wonderful day. And remember, share my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any video from me. So, I'll see you. And thank you very much for coming back to my channel. So, see, reach me at the table. Let's cut out this arm um, top. So look out for part, part two, guys. And I'll see you. Bye-bye.